How's it going, everyone? Richard Schwartz here, aka External Void, coming to do what you do, because that's what we do. And today, we are doing my top 10 favorite powerhouses in the game WWE Champions. If you guys are excited, smash down that like button and let's get going. So, for the ground rules here, for my list, I have to have own, I currently have to have it on my team, so. There could be WWE superstars and WWE champions that are really good, that are really awesome, that I want. But I can't use them on my list because I don't have them. And also another reason I'm doing my top 10 favorites is not going to be necessarily the best of the um, champions. So there might be some in the order that might be you think should be higher up on the list than there is. But I'm just doing my personal favorites. So with that being said, let's go on to our number 10. My number 10 it is Nia Jax. Nia Jax was the first female superstar I got to 4 star. She was my second female superstar that I got in the game when they first introduced it. Obviously the first one was Alexa Bliss. Um, Nia Jax is really good. Um, she's, um, you know, she has some power to her for the females. One of the... You know, especially for when you can get kind of early on in the game. She's really good. Um, she's my number 10 because, you know, I don't use the female superstars as often as I do the males. But nevertheless, I think she's a great addition to, to the, the roster. And that's why she's on my list for number 10. All right. So we're going to go to number 9. Number 9 of the top 10 powerhouses is Velveteen Dream. Now, um, I recently just got the superstar like months ago. Was able to get him. I really like how he looks. Um, his moves set's really good, for what I've seen, for what I wanted to use. Um, again, like I had, I, I mean, I liked the NXT version of Velveteen Dream, and when I was able to get the powerhouse, I enjoyed him too. Um, he's number nine mainly because he's fairly new out of my the superstars on this list, so I haven't used him as much as the other ones I have on this list, and. So that is my number nine. So we are going to number eight, which is probably going to be a little controversial. It is Brock Lesnar. Now, Brock Lesnar is really, really good when the, like, you know, early on, like, everyone, he was at one point probably the best powerhouse in the game at one point when the game first started. I mean, he does a lot of power. This is the moveset I use for him. Now, I know you're saying, well, if he was considered one of the best powerhouses, why is he only in your number eight? And the main kind of reason, it's kind of a stupid reason, but I didn't like the fact that his finisher is not the F5. It's the same thing with the, the, the next big thing, too, Brock Lesnar. I don't like that his finisher is not the F5. It should be, like, I mean, I don't have to have, I shouldn't have to wait to get him to five star or to be able to use the F5, and that kind of just, you know, it deterred me away, and plus, like, I like using superstars that use the finisher. I mean, this moveset's really good, but, you know, you don't get to see the finisher. And though he's really good, I mean, it's just me being petty in that sense, so that's why he's my number eight. And plus, I don't really use him that often. So let's go to number seven. Number seven... It, number seven for me is a um, just a personal bias pick, because I like this... I like this wrestler in real life. He's one of my favorite wrestlers, like in the in the new era. And I'm going with Wade Barrett. Uh, Wade Barrett, you know, King Barrett. You can't really get you can't get him in the game anymore. Um, he was offered when I first started playing. Um, since they left, he's not there anymore. I mean, he's not that great. He, I mean, obviously Brock Lesnar. He's probably uh, like if I can be um f completely honest, he's. Ray Barrett's not that great of a powerhouse. He's probably one of the worst powerhouses in the game just because it takes forever for his moveset to get. But the reason why I have him so high up in number seven is because I like Ray Barrett in real life. He's one of my favorite, well, like one of my favorite wrestlers in this new, newer generation. I loved uh, the Bad News Barrett, Bad News King Barrett. I loved that gimmick. I loved him in the Nexus. So this is my personal bias for me. Even though he's not great in the game, he's still he's still up in their list number seven because I like him. <laughs> So that is my explanation. So my number six, and plus it's my list. I am allowed to do whatever I want. My list. <laughs> All right, number six. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Number six, Shelton Benjamin, the gold standard. Now, um, I like Shelton Benjamin in the game. Like, I, he's one of the new ones I got like a few months ago. I really like him. I haven't really gotten moved up yet, but like, I play with him a lot. 
He's a lot of fun to use. And, I mean, I like Shelton Benjamin in wrestling, too. I loved him. I still like him as a wrestler. That's why he's my number six. Um, as I get him more level up, he'd probably be even better. Just right now. I just think he looks cool in the game as well. And he's fun to play with. Alright, we're going to number five. Number five. Where are ya? Oh, gotta go to number five. We gotta go to number five. I'm looking for him, looking for him, looking for him. He's actually down here. It is Zombie Steve Austin. Um, look, uh, he's Zombie Steve Austin's really good powerhouse. He's really strong. I only have him a two-star silver. I need to work on him. I, I'm trying to get his star filled before I start to mainly use him. But once I get him, like, this, the second star filled, I'm going to bring him up to four-star or three-star. Because once you get him up really high... He's really good because that stun feature becomes really powerful. And that's just the only reason why I don't have him higher up. Like, the only reason I don't have him as a 3-star or 4-star is I'm trying to get that star filled in first. I get really annoyed when stars are not filled in. So I'm just setting up my stars so I can do that eventually. But Zombie uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Sorry, let me go back to him. Zombie Stone Cold. Really good. Like... He's really powerful, and he looks really cool. He's one of the cooler-looking zombies in the game. So, yeah. That is my number five. We are going to go to number four. And number four is... Where is he? Looking for him. There he is. Number four powerhouse is the Ultimate Warrior. Now, uh, he's re really good. This is the guy I wanted to get for a long time, and I always kept on missing him and missing him and missing him. And when I was finally able to get him, I was so happy. And, you know, he's a lot of fun to use. Like, I haven't really worked on him as much because there's other superstars I'm working on what I work on first than him. But he's still a lot of fun to use. He looks really cool. Ultimate Warrior is a great wrestler. And back in the heyday, I was always so entertaining watching him. And, look, he looks really good. He's actually really good in game. Just once I level him up, he'll be even better. And he looks really cool. Look at that. So yeah. He is my number four. So we're going to my top three. We've made it to the top three list. And top three powerhouse. My favorite powerhouses to use. Or my personal favorite. Whatever I decide my list. Number three, Beth Phoenix. Now, um, Beth Phoenix is probably one of my favorite female superstars. Uh, she's also really strong in the game. She was the second full, my first full four star that I got fully full, the full four stars in. My first four star pull ever in the new one. She's really good in the game. Uh, she looks really good in the game. Um, she does a lot of damage. And she's, look, she's the Clamazon for a reason. And that's why she had to be in my top three. So, there's no question right there. Number two, Bam Bam Bigelow. Now, this was really close to my opinion. Bam Bam could easily be number one for me because Bam Bam is probably one of the superstars I use the most now because the main fact of his uh, stun feature, the power bomb that stuns for two turns, he's really strong in the game. Um, Bam Bam really comes in clutch and feuds and blitzes and... Um, Every competition, every time I need to run through an event that I can use open, Bam Bam's usually my guy for me. He's just really good, and the only reason he's not number one is because my number one happens to be the captain of the team, which we're going to go to right now. Oh, wait, nope, that's not him. That's Bam Bam. He could have been. Number one, Big Cass, the captain of my team, the captain of my team. I like him so much. He was the first three-star I ever got in the pool. He was the first three-star I got ever in the game. He's still really good in my opinion. He does a lot of damage for me. He was my first three-star I got. He was the first person I got to four-star. He was the second person I got to four-star silver. He's so and I just, you know, it's sentimental reasons. He still will be the captain of the team. He still does a lot of damage. And when I par I usually partner up with Bam Bam and they just run wild. Whenever we do the um, I always forgot what it's called. You know we get to raise up the ranks. And so yeah, that is the reason why Big Cast is my number one. 
Well, guys, that concludes this video. If you enjoyed this video, smash down that like button. If you're new to the channel, become an external fan today and subscribe. Do you like my choices for my top 10? Put your top 10 in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have a great week. External Void is out.